seeing you all here with us. Um, this is our book in it episode number four. And today we are talking about showcasing your skills in testing. Now, you know, Kristen, what do we mean by that? Because I always was under the assumption that GPA was the thing to get into universities and colleges. That is true, but now things have changed a little bit. So today we want to talk about showcasing your testing scores mm. because it takes more than GPA now um, to get into college. And when you're applying to colleges, we want to give you guys some tips on what it takes to fill out that application and give you some tricks on what it means to be a more well-rounded student. So it's more than just GPA. There's a lot more other things that you can use on your college application. Oh, so like testing, but again, how does testing help try to like showcase or get you into college? That's a good question. So I think it's better that we talk to our highlighted guest today. Her name is Jeannie and she's from College Board. I think she's going to be able to explain that for us. Oh, that's really good. I'm excited. Hey, Jeannie. Hey, Jeannie. All right. Well, thank you. I welcome the opportunity to discuss how College Board programs can help showcase your talents through testing. Uh, many high school students are familiar with uh, school day tests, perhaps of the PSAT or SAT. Both of those are College Board programs that can help measure your academic skills at a given point in time. And also, it's really helpful for colleges and universities that can find you as a high school student based on those skills. So it's important to do your best, prepare well, um, and do well on test day. Also, for those of you who are in high school, you may have heard of another College Board program, Advanced Placement or AP. Again, those are, are high school courses that uh, are taught with college rigor in mind. And at the end of the advanced placement course, students are able to take what we call an AP exam and earn college credit. Again, showcasing your talents to those uh, college and university admissions officials. I also want to just mention quickly another College Board program, less well known, but it's called the CLEP program and it's the program I work with. Uh, CLEP stands for the College Level Examination Program. We offer exams in 34 different areas, things like college composition, biology, things you may be familiar with in high school. And with a passing score on the CLEP exam, again, you can earn three to six to nine college credits. So not only are you showcasing your testing talents, but you're also saving um, hundreds, if not $1,000 on college tuition as you enroll in college or university. I really want to know more about this topic. I mean, showcasing your skills and testing is, it seems like it's just another facet yes. to really showing the colleges and universities that you do have what it takes to learn there. That's true. I think we actually have a workshop coming up. Oh. We do. Yes. So School Liaison Program, partnering with Family Member Employment Assistant Program, is going to be holding a two-day workshop in the summer in July, and it's going to be for ages 13 to 18. We're doing it virtual and in person, so for our local and WRR families. But the name of the workshop, get this, is Mapping My Future. Oh, wow. That's yeah. really cool. So we're going to be talking about career exploration, job readiness, money, all kind of stuff, including showcasing your testing scores to help you prepare for that life after college, because we know, or life after high school, because we know it's not easy. Yeah, I am really, really excited about this. And you can actually register for this on our Eventbrite link. It's uh, all DOD eligible. And as Kristen was saying, we are going to do it in hybrid. So WRR, just because you're far, far out there does not mean that you cannot join for this event. So you can see that Eventbrite link right after this episode, we'll be posting it. Nice. And I think we're out of time, but should we tell them what episode five is going to be about? Yes, we actually have a season in our military world called PCS season. Yes. So that's what we're going to be talking about next month. And we really hope to see you all back with us again. All right. Well, thank you guys for your time. And we'll see you next time in May for PCS season. Thank you. Bye. Bye.